welcome to kl biology need today we are going to discuss structure of heart before that in last video we discussed children uh, example for open circulatory system yes many of you answered it is arthropoda mollusca all these are having open circulatory system only fine so let us see today structure of heart human heart so what is the length of our heart it is around 10 to 12 cm and what is the weight it is around 250 g on an average okay and uh, though it is 10 to 12 cm it is slightly tilted towards the left hand side 9 cm okay and width will be some 5 to 6 cm width 5 to 6 cm and i told you it will be tilted towards the left side okay and we can find and the uh, outer layer we call it as pericardium so there are two pericardial layer outer and inner pericardium in between we call it as pericardial fluid is present so what is the purpose of this pericardial fluid it reduces the friction our heart is myogenic heart it is made of muscle and you all know children it is made up of cardiac muscle and we can find four chambers right auricle left auricle right ventricle and left ventricle okay so the right auricle and left auricle are separated by means of inter auricular septum so this will develop only after delivery so before delivery if you see the fetus which is in mother womb there won't be any interauricular septum it will be a gap or cavity or hole that is called foramen ovalis when the child is delivered and placenta is released that time it will be closed and uh, uh, that is what we call it as interauricular septum if it remain as such we call it as hole in the heart which is fossa ovalis so this is regarding the auricle chamber and beneath that we have ventricle right ventricle and left ventricle of course they are separated by interventricular septum now right side auricle and right side ventricle are separated by tricuspid valve similarly left side it is bicuspid valve now if we see there will be a connection with the valve and ventricle so we can find some muscles here they are called papillary muscles and these papillary muscle and these valve are interconnected through a strip of muscle called cauda tendine yes so this is strip of muscle are you clear children now i told you already these are muscle can you tell me children which chamber of the heart is very thick muscle all are thick only all are muscle only but which is more thickest muscle we can find either our right auricle left auricle or uh, right ventricle or left ventricle okay now uh, you know right side always receives uh, impure blood through uh, inferior vena cava and superior vena cava also coronary sinuses which brings impure blood from the heart itself you know inferior vena cava brings impure blood from lower part of the body below the heart superior vena cava above the heart from our head shoulder impure blood is filled when it contract of course it will come to the right ventricle from there it goes to the lungs for purification we discuss pulmonary circulation okay now left side at the same time pulmonary vein from the lungs brings pure blood and this blood 
pump into the left ventricle via aorta it will be supplied to entire parts of the body so this is regarding the structure of heart and i also asked you a question please post your answer in the comment box and uh, your queries and doubts please follow us in instagram whatsapp and uh, telegram also in facebook thank you all children